What's up, you guys? My name is Marcellus, and uh, today I was just, you know, sitting around playing some Xbox, and um, I was like, hey man, Couture Sand Episode 3 came out. Why not check it out? Uh, because I'll be reviewing it from now on. And, yeah, that is some news. I'll be reviewing Couture Sand instead of Hakenda and Eight Dogs of the East. I'll probably do every once in a while a review of that series, you know, but this is the main one I'll be sticking to. Either which way, this episode made me absolutely fucking mad. I mean,. <sighs> Alright, let's just start off with the review. And, uh, well, we pick up where, uh, well, this episode was mainly based around something that happened in episode 2, where Monibe confessed his feelings about Katura-san to Hiyori, and, you know, Katura-san ended up overhearing it. And now this whole episode was just, like, a kind of awkward, but, you know, re like, wondering if she should tell Monibe how she feels about him, because obviously she feels the same way. And every time the president of the ESP society would bring it up, like, she would always, like, push it aside or, you know, blush or something like that. So, obviously, she feels the same way. Well, early on in the episode, we get them hanging out, and, uh, just the four of them hanging out, doing karaoke, just getting, becoming more of a group and friends. And we see her, uh, the president, like, about to tell Monabe how Katura San feels about him, but she's, uh, Katura stops her. And, well, she agrees to make Monabe lunch. And that does play a huge part of uh, the episode. Well, she doesn't end up making Monabe lunch the first time. And, uh, because he was having pervert thoughts like he usually is. And, you know, he, she just, like, puts it off. Well, before, uh, she decides to do, uh, to make him lunch, we get a, a shot of Hiyori in, like, her little dojo or whatever, that bitch. And we get her, like, two dudes come in and... She, they ask, like, is there anything they can do for her? And, uh, she says yes. Well, after that, we, uh, get back to Monabe and, uh, Katorasan. And we see them, like, in a market or whatever. And Katorasan is telling, like, Monabe, like, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you lunch now. And Monabe freaks out or whatever. And he says that, um, she says that he needs to go, so it would be like a surprise or whatever. So he decides to walk home, and uh, we see Katurasan walking home. We see two shots of both of them walking home. Now, then we see a, a, a group of, like, shadows walking in, like, in between the shots of Monabe and Katura. And we find out that they're after Monabe, and Hiori sent them because she, said, she lied and said that Monabe was following her, and she was scared for her life. And they beat the shit out of, like, Monabe. But the thing is, though, after a while, Monabe starts to fight back because he realizes, I believe, he realizes that he has to protect Katora. And he says, this is good. And I believe he says this because this is good. They came after him instead of Katora. Well, uh, the next day in class, uh, the teacher comes in and says that Monabe has been injured and it was an accident. But while Katora is reading, uh, while Katora is, like, processing this, she reads Hiori's mind, and, uh, Hiori is, like, regretting it, she's like, oh, no, what do I do, uh, well, bitch, you sent somebody to fuck him up, and she said to rough him up a little bit, but they sent him in the hospital, so, I mean, it's your fault, bitch, either which way, is, uh, we shoot back to Katora, and she tells Hiori, which is, it's all right, which is not, you stupid bitch, and she goes to the hospital, and she overhears what Monabe has to say about Katora. Well, her. And she said, he says that, um, he's glad that it happened to him and not her. And he doesn't want her to hurt anymore. Well, after hearing all this, Couture takes it into her own consideration to rethink this. And says that even if she's not being hurt or even if she's pretending like everything is okay, uh, Monabe will still be taking the pain for her. So, after that, Monabe gets out of the hospital. He says he was released pretty, uh later after, like, he was released pretty early, and the next day he comes to school, Katura isn't there, she's not at her house, she moved, and basically it's all her fault, was well, basically all Hiyori's fault, man. because she, sorry about that, because she caused Manabe to get hurt, which caused Katura to feel like she was starting stuff, and I absolutely hate that bitch, like, that character is totally on my nerves now, like, I don't care if she does become a part of the ESP group, which it looks like she is from the opening, but 
I still hate that bitch. Like, dude, she she lied just because she didn't. She, eh, she couldn't get Monabe to like her. And she stopped Couture from admitting to how she felt about Monabe. Because it's probably the next day after she made the lunch. That's probably when she would have told him. And I do want to say something about this episode, though. It did capture the feeling of uh, having a little small group in the school. And, um, make, like, exposing it really well. Because I was in a group last year, and it was only about four to uh, five people. And when we are, like, real close and we have, a, like, a good friendship... That, that was like the best time of my life like we went out bowling and everything and it was just really fun and I believe the episode caught that perfectly between the whole ESC group like when they eat together and when they went karaoke like went to go karaoke so I mean I believe that was that was really good um I don't know man I hopefully he gets uh her back and hopefully I'm I'm praying that this anime doesn't have a sad ending because that's what it looks like already like it, it looks like it's gonna have a pretty sad ending because it's an emotional show and this is probably like the first emotional show I've ever been into. So, uh, besides Clint Uh, Thank you for watching this. Like this if you enjoyed it. Uh, comment below what you thought of the episode. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, like Bankai said, you're in these bitch smack.